Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm just trying to verify that they, they actually live here on the property. Yes, I live my son. Okay, and what's your name? Okay. Alright, that's all I needed. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Mm -hmm. But do you understand my perspective though? You don't, I don't need, need to. Man. I'm just trying to get it. I'm just trying to go home, man. I understand, but I'm saying, bro, I don't remember everybody who who live out here. I don't. But we have a lot of things that happen out here. That's why I have to make sure people man, belong. Boy, man, this is the most place ever, man. Ain't, ain't shit going on here, bro. How you know? Are you out here at three o'clock in the morning when I'm out here? Man, I'm here all the time. I live here, bro. Okay. I know, but I'm just saying, stuff happens all the time. That's why we here. Y'all just don't see it. I'm not part of that mix, man. I'm not saying you're part of it. I just have to verify who people is before I let them in. I just need you to understand that because you're sitting on the side of the road. You just verify it. You just verify it. You're sitting on the side of the road, which that's a red flag. Like, okay, if somebody lives here, they just come right on in. So I'm just doing my part. Right. Okay. Let me share with you guys what happened in this situation, uh, just in case you guys may be faced with this. Uh, right now, guys, I'm patrolling at one of my apartment complex, and um, everyone who live here have a key or a code they can punch in to come onto the property. So whenever I'm sitting in the front of the property here near the clubhouse, and I see a vehicle just parked on the side of the road, like they waiting on someone so they can tailgate their way inside, whenever I see that, that's always a red flag for me. Uh, guys, this past Friday, we just had an individual steal a catalyst converter. Uh, from a vehicle out here so I'm very 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 like cautious and I'm paying attention to those things so uh, so me being me doing my job on foot I approached the individual I said hey is there anything I can help you guys with when I said that the, the individual became hostile uh, that part of the video wasn't recorded but he became hostile as soon as I opened my mouth and said anything to him he just was angry guys like he didn't want anything to do with me um, I asked him if there's anything I can help him with and he told me, um, yeah, we trying to get onto the property, um, but my key isn't working. I said, okay, cool. No problem. I said, if you give me your name or provide me with an ID, I can verify that you a resident. When I said that guys, he went off. He was like, you know who I am. You know, my car, you seen me before. I said, I said, um, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, hang on, slow your roll. I said, I don't remember every face that's out here. I don't remember every vehicle that's out here. So let's not even do that. I said, I'm asking you for your name or your ID so I can verify you and you can move right along. I'm not giving you ID. I said, okay, well, I'm not giving you access to come onto the property then. I said, until you give me what I need, I'm not allowing you on the property. He was like, man, that's stupid. I don't have to give you anything. I said, okay, well, since that's stupid to you, you don't have to give me anything and I don't have to give you anything. I'm not allowing you on the property. He was like, okay, I bet I get on the property. I said, okay, I bet you won't. So um, me and him was going back and forth, and I was like, you know what? I'm walking off. So I walk off. Obviously, he's talking trash. Um, his girlfriend, I believe, was the driver. He was the passenger. She called me back to the vehicle. She said, hey, I'm going to call his mom so she can verify. So I talked to his mom, and um, she was able to verify the information, giving me her name, giving me his name, and that was it move right along something he could have done to begin with but trying to be a knucklehead probably trying to show out in front of his girlfriend or whatever and the crazy thing is she was even complying she was looking at him like hey just give him your id or give him your name and he was like no i'm not doing that or whatever so guys um uh, the moral of the story is don't back down do your job you know your job duty you know your uh your post orders stick with them don't allow these people to intimidate you or scare you anything like that stick to it if they cross the line, you know as an officer what you can and you can't do. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys, and that's it for this one.